my friends. Who are you? Um, going to a doctor's appointment. It's later in the day. It's 4.30. Got a few things that I need to discuss with him. One being my blood pressure. Sorry, I'm a little bit in the grill. <laughs> um, I have to bring my blood pressure machine to him again. I don't know. Anyway, do that and um, talk to him about this uh, abscess thing in my gums, sinus. I don't know. Ask him which one it is at, at least. Maybe he could tell me. Fuck. I have so much stress going to the doctors, you know, because what do they know that we don't? I mean, I'm sure they know a lot. I'm not trying to diss any doctors, especially this one, because he's really good. He's like very, very thorough. But I definitely I'm not trying to diss him. I'm just saying like, sometimes I feel more intelligent and that's not cool because I didn't go to school for that, you know? This bothers me a lot, clearly. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's waiting uh, for Shy and Matthew. Can't find my other glasses, my big glasses that I love so much. Can't find them. I don't know where they are. They're probably in my glove compartment, but it's such a mess. Seriously. Yeah. There's been some stress, some more stress. Jeez, what a shock, huh? Most people would run away from stress that is causing them stress. Most people. Most people. using a little knob that I'd never used on my car. Weird. Anyway, doing that, hopefully it'll be good news. We'll see. Um, I was thinking before I was going to sleep last night because I just had a little insomnia as usual. Uh, not as usual because lately for the last year or two, I've been able to sleep quite well, weirdly. Anyway, I was thinking because I was stressed I wonder because the blood pressure medication I'm on, he doesn't want to give me more and then have me like fainting, which I get, I totally get. But it comes in doses of like four, eight, 12, you know, that kind of thing. I'm sure he doesn't want me to take 12. Um, so I'm wondering maybe he, he would okay it for me to cut one into quarters and take instead of eight milligrams 10 milligrams so I will ask that I will ask that did I tell you guys what happened to my my veneers did I well when you have a warranty with insta smile I wish I had kept them because they were pretty mangled. Um, Shy will chew on anything that's on the floor. She loves paper. Uh, she doesn't usually go for shoes, but she loves paper. She loves socks. Didn't realize that these had ended up on the floor, but it was in the case. Somehow she got the case open and I'm very grateful because that case has a mirror in it. So I'm really grateful that she didn't, she didn't even destroy the case but as soon as she got those veneers oh it was over they were like I think maybe she chewed on them maybe three times and they were done they were completely done I was like oh my god you destroyed my teeth <laughs> I wonder if that happens to people with dentures ouch anyway so 
I was like, oh my God. And I hadn't even sent in my bottom impressions yet because InstaSmile um, was, I was working on getting my bottom impressions so I could get the bottom veneers. So I mailed them and said, I don't know if I should even bother with the bottom veneers now because of blah, blah, blah. My dog ate my friggin' veneers. <laughs> sounds like something out of a teenage movie so they got back to me saying hey you had the warranty so you get a new veneer I'm like oh my god this is amazing so that's what we're doing what we're doing Two hours late. Oh. <sighs> Welcome to my doctor's office. Going to pick up the mom. Uh, she's asked me to take her to a, a antique store because she wants to get this skeleton key for one of her dressers. Um, yes, my mother likes antiques. So we'll see if we can get that accomplished. She would be very happy with that. My mom is the type of person that she feels completely off unless she gets things done, like done. Go get mom, take her to this thing that's uh, a ways down there on Main Street, which I'm more than happy to do. And go back to her place for cookies and tea and then after that uh, visit with Carla for a while when she gets home around 435 and then by the time I'm done there I'll probably pick up Tony at 6 <laughs> and take her for coffee and hang out for an hour or so and then tomorrow I don't know what we will see. It's already, like I said, almost two. It seems like rush hour here starts on Thursdays and Fridays, which is weird. Um, starts at about two o'clock rush hour, not six o'clock. Two o'clock and it lasts until about seven. Six thirty, seven. Yeah, about seven, seven thirty. Yeah, it's insane. So, yeah, that's that. Checked my tickets the other day. Didn't win the lottery yet. No lottery wins yet. Not a multimillionaire yet. I really need to get working on that because I got a lot of things I want to buy. Lots. A couple of cars. Couple, oh, oh, excuse me, a couple of cars, a couple of houses, and that's about it. What are you doing, guy? It's a fucking bus driver. Anyway. I'm at the airport. My sister and I took my mom to the airport because she's going up north to see my sister Maria, um, the one that has cancer. So that's what she's doing. <sighs> I'm going to go for a little ride around the block. My sister took her in, so 
Uh, we don't all have to go in. We really don't want to go in the airport. I'm very grateful for Carla coming with me because it wouldn't have gone well if it wasn't, if it was just me. So I was waiting at a gas station because <coughs> it's really wacko to, uh, look, don't go that way. Mm, yeah. Um, it's really wacko to go to the airport and, fuck man, it's just crazy. Anyway. I don't feel great today, but I think it's just, you know, stressor, stress. I hate it. Uh, I hate stress. I hate stress. up dropping them off in the wrong spot so my sister had to I'm guessing wheel her over to like put her in a wheelchair because my mom can't walk that far she walks fine obviously and she looked really good today I forgot to tell her because she did she looked really good like very healthy and happy and just looked great I think it's probably because um, I've been on antibiotics for like almost a week. It's just draining me. But I took a naproxen today. That doesn't do me very good. But anyway, I have to take my antibiotic right now. It's this ugly looking thing. Um, it's for, a uh, um, infection. I have to say, I'm very, very blessed to have the mother that I have to have the family that I have, to have the health that I have. Even though, you know, I complain and I worry and I'm scared of so much, um, I'm also, turn this on, I'm freezing. Um, I'm also, I also realize how lucky I am and how much of my health I do have because um, I see I belong to quite a few groups in um, on Facebook. Ow, damn, that hurt. Um, like lupus groups, because I have lupus. I have systemic lupus. Because I think you guys know this, but just in case you're new. Anyway, um, and I'm very lucky. I'm very, very lucky to be in the health that I'm in. I do realize how blessed I am. Very, very blessed. Yeah, so when I feel when I seem like I'm complaining a lot, I definitely am complaining a lot. Too much in fact, and I realize how much I'm complaining. And it's unfortunate that I complain that much. I try really hard not to. I think a lot of my complaining is if I let it out, it doesn't seem as bad. Or it makes me feel better. And it's not not that I want to complain or I feel better after I complain per se but it's because I you know when you talk about something and you feel better after you let it out after you get it off your chest that's what it is it's not that I want to complain I just want to get it off my chest 
I'm not happy about about taking my mom to the airport. I feel like I want to cry. I don't like it. 